work do you think a bioengineer might do? So did you see something in this word that I underlined, the prefix in this word? Thomas, what do you bio. think? What do you think bio means? Um, Nicole? Environmental. Environmental, maybe a little bit has to do with some of the environment. Okay. Um, Ariana? Biography. What's a biography? That's right, biography sounds like bio, right? What's a biography? Adam? Um, a biography is a nonfiction story about somebody's life. Okay, it's about somebody's life. So bio means about living things. What do you think um, the work of a bioengineer might be? Julia? He, might, um, he or she might improve living things. So, um, so maybe he or she improves living things, okay. Um, another thought, Vivian? Maybe they like help animals. Okay, so maybe bioengineers help animals. Um, Abby. They help like design the things that help living things. Okay, so Abby said maybe they design things to help living things. Remember, because engineers do what? Design, right? These sound like really good ideas about bioengineers. So today, with this story, we're going to actually learn about a bioengineer and what bioengineers do. But the first thing I really want you to think about as we're reading this story um, are basic needs. Um, all organisms or living things have basic needs um, that must be met in order to, for the organism to stay alive, right? Would you agree that, are you a living thing? Okay, do you have basic needs in order to stay alive? Okay, so give me, um, what do you, what's one basic need, a need, now not a want, a need that you need in order to survive? Jaden, what do you think? Food. Okay, so you need food. Would everyone agree that you need food in order to survive? Okay, how about another basic need? Um, Angelina? Water. Would you all agree that you need water? Kendra? Shelter. Shelter. Nor oxygen, and we can call that air, right? Or oxygen. I'll put in parentheses. How do people meet their basic needs? How do people, how do people put food into their body? How do we get that? What do we do, Julia? Um, people grow food or raise the food, such as cows or stuff like that, and then we, they put them in stores, and then we have to buy it, <laughs> and then we eat it. And we eat it. How do we eat it? Through our okay, we eat it with our mouth. So what about water? How do we get water? How do, how do we meet our needs? How do we get water? Ariana? We take a bottle. <laughs> we drink it, right? We drink it with our mouth, right? Okay, so as we read our story today, I, oh, we're going to read half of it today. We'll read half tomorrow. I want you to think about the basic needs that we all need to live, and then the basic needs of other organisms while living things and what they need to live. Look at the title. What do you think it's about? Who can read the title for me? Uh, Kendra? Juan? Yeah. Juan. Daniel's football? Yeah, football frog. Nick, what do you think? Football. It's what do you think it is? Soccer. How, why is football soccer? No, why is football soccer? It's because in other con con countries or continents, um, people call soccer um, football. Absolutely, they call soccer football. Well, let's see. Let's let's read it together. Okay, chapter one, game day. Juan Daniel tossed a bottle of water into his duffel bag and scanned the rest of its contents. Gonzalez T-shirt, check. Brown. Towel, Skin. check. One day is ready to go. Hey, it seems like there's something wrong with you, he said. The frog skin was dry, like paper. Nothing at all, like the moist skin of frogs he'd found in the rainforest. Have you ever seen the skin of a frog? Yeah. What does it look like? It's like zipper uh, Kendra? It's like this weird looking material. It's like zipper. Okay, so a little slippery? Why do you yeah. think it's a little slippery? Abby, why do you think it's, it's a little slippery? It's moist okay, so it, so it's moist and wet where they live, right? So they have to have it. It's going to be a little slip, slippery, right? Anything else you notice about the skin, um, Kendra? They have all these different patterns. Sometimes they have patterns on them. Okay, good. Um, so nothing like the moist skin of the frogs he'd found in the rainforest. Down, a lot of animal habitats are being lost. The animals have nowhere to go and sometimes end up in the wrong place. Carlos looked down at Juan Daniel's arm. How are you feeling? Let me ask you something. If um, 
if they're destroying the rainforest, what do you think can happen to to an animal and its basic needs? Let's say the frog, for example. What can happen to the frog and the basic needs that we talked about? Um, Logan? It can, it can die because it's not in its natural habitat and it doesn't have the right food. And okay, so um, Logan said it could die because it's not in its natural habitat and it, he won't get food, the food that he needs to eat. What else might be, might put him in jeopardy as far as his basic needs are concerned. Um, Kiana? When the, in his natural habitat, it's like watery and wet and cool, but in there, from what it's saying, it's like hot and it's like dry, so he may die from the, from like the change, because his blood is not used to, like his body's not used to hot and So that would be his shelter too, right? His shelter where he lives, he needs it to be wet and moist, not hot and dry. So are all of his basic needs being met? Having a problem with his basic needs. Okay, one more chapter for today, and then we'll pick this up tomorrow. A helpful visit. But it looks like you're taking pretty good care of him. Just make sure to keep him moist. Frogs need moist skin so they can absorb air into their bodies. So why do they need moist skin? They get their hair into their skin, right? So how is that different from us? Julia? Um, frogs get air through their skin, and we breathe it through our nose and mouth. Very good. This is the task. You ready? Um, I have a little sheet. It's big enough to fit into our science notebook when we're done with this activity. I want you to work with the person on the side of you. And it's, what is a membrane? And it's a few questions. I want you to refer back to the book. Answer the questions with your partner for about five minutes, and we'll regroup about um, what, what we think membranes are and what their function is. Membrane that is a part of the frog's body. Skin. What about their back? I think, that, I think the frog's is skin too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, both of them are skin. For five seconds, or ten seconds, please share with somebody that was not at your group what do you have? Before women drink water through their mouths. Before they drink it through their mouths, their skin lets some water go all right, so who would like to share? What, um, so what do you think a membrane is? And if we don't have to have an exact definition, we just have to have a good understanding about it. Um, Devin, what do you think? Membranes protect us like a shield, keeping harmful things out of our bodies, and also lets helpful things in. I think that's really important. Um, there's two things it does. It keeps harmful things out but it also allows good things to pass through. It's not just one or the other. It's, it actually does both. Okay, Kendra? A stomach is a membrane because it allows water to pass through. Yeah, she's using that. We were having a little conversation about the stomach being a membrane as well. Where else do you see um, a membrane for your body? body. <coughs> Savannah? Your skin, sure. All right, so we talked about that. The water can pass through, but it keeps the dirt and everything else out. A membrane in a frog is it? Very good. The frog membrane is its skin, and what does that let pass through? It's much needed, two things that are much needed. Doa? Air and water. Very good, but keeps out all those harmful things, right? Okay. Number six, why is it important for Juan Daniel to keep his frog skin moist? Because he's not in his normal habitat, and he doesn't have the right things he needs to stay alive. Right, and what do we call those is what? The, what do we call them? Basic it's basic needs, right? So. We left off, and where was uh, Juan Daniel headed? Um, Anybody remember where he's going to head? Um, Adam? Uh, he was heading to the rainforest. Heading to the rainforest. So, here we go, chapter five. He was imagining his poor frog sitting under the waterfall. I don't think he, he'd stand a chance being hit with all of that water, Juan Daniel thought. So do you think he's thinking maybe that's not it? Why do you think he's saying that, that maybe he... I don't think he'd stand a chance being in all of that water. Nick, what do you think? Because he's a tiny frog and the water on the waterfall comes down. Exactly. So it's going to be a little bit too much for him. He's got to think of something that maybe is going to come out how? Good? Gently. Gently? Like maybe easier. gently? Easier? easier good words. Very good. Pressure. Yes, not so much pressure. Good. He saw the trees and bushes at the base of the waterfall and thought of what now I need to figure out how to design it. 
You think it's a good idea that they went into the rainforest? Yes. Why? Angelina? So we could see some of the things that the frog, that would help the frog. Absolutely. So he can get an idea, right? Abby? So he knows what the frog's habitat looks like? Good. Modeling a membrane, chapter six. The membrane will let some water drip through just enough to keep the frog moist. It will separate the container where the frog lives from a container filled with water. And wish you luck. I, I leave for the university tomorrow, and I won't be back for a long time. Do you think it's important for them to test different materials? Yeah, why do you think it's important? Like, who needs to test them? Why? Devin? Because you don't just want to try it out already, because um, you don't know how it's going to be. Okay, so you don't know how one material is going to work compared to another material, right, Vivian? Like, if they didn't try it out, they'd make a final product, and then if the shirt didn't let water go through, it wouldn't work, and they'd have to start all over again. Exactly. So it definitely good. inspired me, but next time, I think we'll do a fine job, fine with our determination, our football skills, and a great plan. What a great story. What do you think? What were the things that he did all along the way to get there, to, to take care of the frog? Angelina? Um, he had to keep thinking of ways to make it better. To okay. Live. All right. Um, let me ask this question. Did he, what kind of steps? I remember um, Ms. Peters in the story, she said, he t he, why don't you use these steps that we use, engineers use? Do you remember what that was called? The whole process of steps? Anybody know, Nathan? It was the... Um, engineering design process. So they used a whole process, right? A whole series of steps. In your science notebook, you have, um, it says, ask, imagine, plan, create, all the steps of the engineering design process. Your job right now is to find where in the book that uh, Juan Daniel did all of those things. Abby? Can we have a project one day we can build one? No way. Yeah. Because there's and the guess what? Back. Guess what? When we're done with today's lesson, you are officially now going to be what kind of engineer? Bio-engineers. Good job. Okay, so we're making a transition. So the first thing to do is S. Was it S during that part when he was at the um, rain rainforest? Exactly. But then when he saw the drop of water, what did he think? That that was a good idea. Yeah, that's exactly it. He, over here he said, I don't think he'd stand the chance being hit with all the water. Okay, so where was he when he said that? In the rainforest. In the, so he was in the rainforest looking for some, some information, right? Where else did he ask questions? Do you remember? Um, he was in chapter 6. Yeah, what was he, what was he asking questions um, about? Do you remember How that? to make it. Yeah, but what was he, yeah, how to make it. He was trying to figure that out. But what did he ask questions about? What he had to use and all the materials. Oh, so he was thinking about that. So he had to ask questions about that, right? So maybe that would be something you want to include in the ask. Great. Did somebody share with a teammate member that you've not worked with? I just had, yeah, um, for ask, I had um, he asked himself if the waterfall was too strong. He tested different materials to see which one worked best. He and his sister sketched out a plan on a piece of paper to figure out how to make a membrane. He thought they got the right combination of materials, so they put the frog in it and left it overnight to see how water traveled through the membrane. Juan makes a combination of the materials and said, Sets it up so um, let's let's see if we all found did you did you find similar or close to similar um, evidence in the text for each one of the steps of the engineering design process? Yes, yes. Nathan, yes. did you find that you guys found similar? So where did he do the ask part of it? What did he do in the story that was the ask? Angelina went to the rainforest to help him find ideas of how to design his frog's membrane, and he also asked questions to Mrs. Peters. He asked what materials he should use for the membrane. So he had to consider the needs of the um, of the frog, and he had to consider some of the materials. Okay, so that was the ask part. What was his um, imagine part? Where did, in the story, did he imagine? Right. Dylan? So have you learned something about bioengineers? Yeah. What have you learned about bioengineers? What do they do? What does that, well, Juan Daniels ended up being a bioengineer, and Miss Peters was a bio, is a bioengineer, and you will be one starting tomorrow. 
But what do bioengineers do, um, Nick? They use their knowledge in math, science, and biology to help um, living things. Yeah. Well, I have for you the actual real one. And let's see how close you are. Who would like to read that big mouth teacher, teacher voice? <laughs> Doa, teacher voice. Bioengineer, someone who combines his or her knowledge of science, math, and inspiration from nature to design technology. Very good. And this word right here, the inspiration from nature, how was Juan Daniel inspired by nature? to help his technology. He had to really go into that rainforest. How was he inspired by nature, Adam? He saw the waterfall and he didn't think that the frog was gonna live under there. And then he saw the water coming down from the leaves and that's how. And you realize that it has to be slow like that, so I have to consider that for my um, membrane. Can I have a round of applause for you today? You did a wonderful job. And tomorrow, we start becoming real bioengineers. Yay. I'm Jean Fasciano, and this is uh, Sylvia Elementary School um, in Fall River. This particular class is a fourth grade class. It's gifted and talented. It's a self-contained gifted class. So um, students had to qualify to get here. For lesson one, especially this unit, this is the first unit I've done with this group of kids. I will do maybe two or three more throughout the year. And so this first one, it's very important that they understand um, what an engineer is, what technology is. They learn that through the story. Um, and they also learn um, elements of the engineering design process. They learn that through the story. And you can see that when, when they're answering questions about the story. I haven't always had class sets of books. Uh, the longer I've been working with, the, you know, with engineering, um, I've gained those materials. But um, originally, I would do that as a read aloud. So it would be two or three days over a course of two or three days, an interactive read aloud where you really stop and ask questions, for, check for understanding. The manual is, is a plethora of information, background knowledge, information, t questions that you can ask. Not all questions you have to ask, but questions that you can ask to check for understanding of certain things you want them to know. So as I read through the manual and I look at, okay, what are the important things? What are the big ideas that I really want them to know? I kind of make a little question on the side of the page. I would do that with any read aloud, I, you know, any, but it really just reminds me without keeping the manual in front of me, don't forget to ask this question. This is important. This is an important place to stop and have a conversation about, you know, what's going on in the story. Mm -hmm.